You're watching live weigh-in coverage of the AFCO Bassmaster Elite at St. John's River from Palatka, Florida. Excited to kick off the Bassmaster Elite Series for 2022 right here in this beautiful community. Putnam County always shows out, and we are thankful for you guys being here today. We are going to have an incredible weigh-in, as we always do. Who's been to a Bassmaster weigh-in here before? Show of hands. Who has never been to a Bassmaster weigh-in? It's your very first one. Well, welcome. We're glad that you came here. Everybody welcome people coming to a Bassmaster weigh-in for the very first time. This is a four-day event. Uh, we cut it down. Half the field fish on the weekend and then the top 10 fish on championship Sunday. But we got to find out who's in our top 10 before we go any further. And I need you guys to make lots and lots of noise for our anglers as we bring them up here today. Can you guys do that? This, of course, is the Avco Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. We have our fine friends from Avco. We've got a booth right over there. Make sure to swing by there some point today and say thanks for bringing the Bassmaster Elite Series back to Palatka, Florida. All these great companies allow us to do this, and we're excited. It has been 207 days since the last day of Elite Series competition, so we're excited to get this going. Are you excited? All right, it gives me great honor to bring out here and introduce to you the Elite Series Tournament Director, Get Loud, for Lisa Talmadge, LT. Lisa, I will let you set up these scales. And, hey, we got something to celebrate here. And, I, Lisa, you might as well take credit because you are the Tournament Director here now and for the first time in three stops to Palatka. We actually went off on time this morning. There was no fog delay. So give Lisa a round of applause for that. You, you had all to do with it? Oh, yeah. I had everything to do with it. All right. Well, let's hope you do it again tomorrow, okay? <laughs> we will see at tomorrow's takeoff. We got a bunch of anglers ready to come out here. Are you guys ready for them? No, 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 no. I said, are you ready? Ooh, let's get ready to weigh up. Our very first angler from Mississippi, get loud for Brock Mosley. Three fish here today for Brock Mosley, four pounds, nine ounces, not the start you want, but nobody remembers day one. It's all about the way it finishes. Dude, this place has my number. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, I, I, I tried to play it safe today, and that's what I came back with. Three fish for four pounds. So, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm going to make a long run, and i got a longer day to fish. And, uh, you know, where I'm going, I've been catching a little bit better quality. I was just kind of concerned what the water temp would be this morning, uh, being further north. So uh, I got nothing to lose tomorrow. Just going to go have some fun and, uh, you know, maybe catch a big bag. Who knows? Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Florida, one of your very own seven-time FLW Tour winner, three-time Bassmaster winner, John Cox. Five fish for John Cox here today. Nine pounds and six ounces. You are leading this tournament, but there's a bunch more anglers yet to come. Oh, my gosh. If you would have told me in the areas we were in today I was going to catch nine pounds, I wouldn't believe it. But, uh, man, it was just it was an awesome day, a beautiful day. Man, my family's over here, my grandbaby. They're all glad they got to come out. Man, the crowd's already for a Thursday. This is incredible. You know, can't wait for later in the week. Uh, it's warming up. I'm, I'm so glad to get another day. We've got a long day tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll get it done tomorrow. Great to have you back here. All the way from Wisconsin, give me a little love for old Bob Downey. If you watch Bass Live today, he put on a show and about to put on a show on the scales. Five fish all alive. Watch the scales, ladies and gentlemen. 27 pounds, 4 ounces, 27, 4, and old Bob Downey is your brand new leader here at the Avco Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. We're going to weigh this for Phoenix Boats Big Bass, guaranteed it's going to take that. Seven pounds, eight ounces, and man, 
What a start to this tournament. Oh, man, that feels good, Dave. I've uh, really struggled here the last two years, so it feels amazing to come out and crack a big bag like that to start off the 2022 season and get started on the right foot. We'll see how tomorrow goes. I didn't fish much today. I only fished like two, two and a half hours. I had to get back and get some stuff worked on mechanically, and hopefully we get that sorted out tonight and get back out there. But, uh, yeah, I think the weather condition just worked out. I got fortunate. The fish kind of slid into this area with the cold night we had, and they were just grouped up there. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Did you get married in the off season? Yeah, I did. Got married and moved back to Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota, so moved back home and uh, got married. My wife made the trek down here with me. She left some good vibes, and uh, clearly it worked. So we're off to a good start. Marriage works. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring out a former classic champion and a former angler of the year from Oregon, Jay Ellis. Jay Ellis has five fish here today. Five fish for 13 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into second place. Just 13 pounds, nine ounces short of the giant day put on. On day number one by Bob Downey. 13-12. So a decent start to things, but would have looked a lot better if you just were one spot ahead of Bob weighing in here today. Yeah, that's a tough act to follow. I, we, we were talking backstage. Boy, he had a day. That's the thing about coming to Florida and the St. John's River. There's so many big bass that somebody catches them like that every day, you know. And it might be me tomorrow. You never know how that goes. But the Yamamoto bait, Senko, saved me today. It was tough, pretty tough fishing for me. I only landed five keepers, but I lost a couple nice ones. But that Senko is a great bait on a day like today. So we'll go back and grind it on tomorrow and see what happens, Dave. We'll get them out there tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing it. The 2012 PA Angler of the Year from Winchester, Tennessee, Mr. Phoenix Boats, Gary Klaus. Led this tournament last year. Five fish here today. 12 pounds and four ounces. He moves into third place currently. Get your cameras ready. He's going to hold one high for you, ladies and gentlemen. All the folks at the Phoenix Boats plant watching right now. 12 pounds and 4 ounces. And uh, not going to lead here on day number one, but hey, who cares about day one? You're just getting warmed up, and uh, anything can happen here in Florida. And it definitely does seem like it could be one of those kind of weeks. Yeah, it could. You know, I got sucked into that long run again. I got to fish about four hours, and I had one five pounder this year and last year I had five on the first day and the water is just is just too cold it, you know it was it got 35 degrees last night or whatever it was and water temperature was like 56 57 when I got there and it finally got to 60 and I feel like if I had another couple hours I could have probably had a little bit better weight I don't think I'd had 27 like Downey did but uh, you anyway, know I enjoyed it I'm gonna get back out there tomorrow and see what happens thanks everybody at Phoenix Boats appreciate y'all watching appreciate y'all coming out for Latka. Always oh, great having you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Our next angler, a three-time Bassmaster winner, a six-time classic qualifier from Paducah, Kentucky, Mark Menendez. Mark Menendez with five fish has done very well here in the past. 15 pounds even. He moves into second place currently with 15 pounds even for the Skeeter Yamaha Pro from Paducah, Kentucky. Fifteen pounds, a good start to things. I mean, you know how Florida is. It's it's staying consistent through this thing. It really is, Dave. You know, it came in spurts today. I catch two or three, and I'd go a while, and then I'd catch two or three, and then I'd go a while. And, um, I actually caught him on a bait today that I don't use very often, and uh, so it enlightened me pretty quick. So I bet I throw that thing around some more tomorrow. But the St. John's is a wonderful place. I fished my first professional tournament of my career in 1987 here way back in 1987, and I was a little kid, didn't even have hair on my face, and uh, enjoyed my time here then, and I've loved every trip since. So what a great fishery. We need to conserve this place, take care of this place, and leave it better than we found it, and we're going to do that for you guys. You always do. 
from North Carolina, the baby shark, Shane LeHue. I don't know if he can be the baby shark with that beard anymore. 4 fish for 7 pounds even. He moves into 6th place currently, but you did grow a spectacular beard in the off season. Yes, I did. And I got married to a spectacular woman in the off season. So I had a good off season. Um not the day I wanted today, obviously, not how you want to start the first day of the Elite Series, but we got tomorrow in, you know, the St. John's, like you saw Bob Downey, is full of big fish, so I had some opportunities today, just bad execution on my part, bad decision making, so we're going to go make something happen tomorrow, though. We'll get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina, Jake Whitaker. Jake Whitaker. Five fish here today. The three-time classic qualifier, 12 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into fourth place currently. Twelve, twelve, sitting in fourth place, and uh, there are going to be a lot of changes on that leaderboard in the next 24 hours. Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm not disappointed with that weight. Actually, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It was kind of what I thought I could catch, and and got fortunate to get a couple good bites to get me to that. But uh, we've got our work cut out. We're going to have to go catch them tomorrow. There's so many big fish in this place, and uh, you know, there's uh, there's going to be more bigger bags weighed in. So uh, we're going to go out there, have fun tomorrow, see if we can't capture a few. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I need you to get really loud. For the first time, we welcome him to the Bassmaster Elite Series stage. He's your Bass Nation National Champion from Hawaii. Say aloha to Matty Wong. Five fish for Matty Wong here on day number one. What a start to your Elite Series career. Five fish. 19 pounds, 14 ounces. Matty Wong here on day number Matty one of Wong his elite here series. on day number one of his elite series career. How good does that feel? Pretty darn good. I'm not gonna lie, man. I had one fish at uh, at 11 o'clock, and I'm like, I gotta switch some stuff up. Made a little bit of adjustments, and uh, man, it just just started to click. You're the Bass Nation national champion. Your life has changed in incredible boats. Every like you have equipment that you couldn't have dreamed of in the past. I've been watching on social media. Tell me, like, what has changed in your life in the last however many months since you won that title? Yeah, it was in November when my life changed. Um, I was running a 1990 Ranger with uh, a Yamaha 150 on it, and uh, with one working gas tank. So I had 14 gallons and um, <laughs> and like one little one little uh, down scope on the or what it's called meter on the front that that was not even in color it was black and white but you know it, it dreams come true I I guess and I'm standing here and my whole life has changed and uh, this has been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid and it's I had to pinch myself this morning when we were blasting off man it's it's incredible. It's just getting started, dude. I can't wait to have you here all year. From one Bass Nation champion to another from Louisiana, Caleb Sumrall. Four fish for Caleb Sumrall here today. Eight pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into eighth place currently. Eight pounds, 11 ounces. And Caleb moving to fourth place. And listening to Maddie talk about how his life's changed. I mean, you are a direct result of that, too, through the Bass Nation. It's amazing, you know, how, what that can do for somebody's career. Man, it really is. Um, I mean, I, I actually gave Maddie a call and tried to help him out every bit uh, that I could. And, you know, just said, call if you need anything. Because the last four years have been a whirlwind of lessons and you know, that's the main thing, lessons. Don't stop learning, but it's been a blast to be doing this. The Bass Nation um, pro platform has just given me and I, guys like Maddie an opportunity to come up and, and be able to live our dreams. And uh, 
On a side note, this place has been a thorn in my side. I'm telling y'all, I have fished seven tournament days consecutive, and I've, never, I've yet to weigh in a limit. So there's only one thing I got to do is I got to go out there tomorrow and I got to whack about 30 pounds and then we got to say, we're going to make a, we're going to make a show. So that's it. I will be back with 30 pounds tomorrow. Go get the dirty 30. We'll see you back here tomorrow. All the way from Millville, New Jersey, GDP, Greg De Palma. Five fish for Greg De Palma here today. Five fish for 13 pounds and an ounce. And he moves into fifth place currently. Top half of our field move into semifinal Saturday. And the top 10 fish on championship Sunday. Thirteen one, so a decent start to things. I mean, you got to be consistent here in Florida. You know, there's always that big bite available, as we've seen. Yes, there is. It's a special place. I don't even know why we practice, because it's always different during a tournament. So we should just play it out and just play all year long with no practice. What do you think, Dave? I'm all in. I don't show up for practice, so it doesn't really affect my life whatsoever. You were definitely late this, this year, weren't you? Um, no, I'm, I'm, I was right here almost on time for, for when. Come on, we know better. Who do you want me to say? All right. Don't start a war with right. me at the first weigh-in of the freaking year. Right. Give me the mic. I'm very happy. I'm standing next to you so close. How's that sound? Whatever. Why didn't yeah. you catch more? Because I... You wouldn't be near as close to me if you had 27 pounds like those other guys. They were... Tomorrow's a new day, Dave. I look forward to seeing that. Go get it done. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Texas, Brad Watley. Two fish for Brad Watley here today. Three pounds and nine ounces. We don't worry about today. Don't forget about today when you get them tomorrow, right? Yeah, you got to forget about today when you weigh three nine. But, uh, you know, I love this place. I've always done well here. I don't know what happened today. I did get around some good fish right at the end and, you know, lost a couple of fish. But just uh, hopefully I've got a long day tomorrow. And, I mean, I've busted 20 here before, so we'll go out and try to bust about 20, 25 tomorrow and get back in it. Go get it done. I know you can. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, a two-time classic qualifier for Minnesota, the sleepy assassin, Austin Felix. Five fish for Austin here today. 12 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into sixth place currently. Austin Felix with 12 pounds, 12 ounces, and uh, happy to have you back here. Oh, I'm so excited to be back on the road. It, it was a fun day. I didn't know where I was going to catch a bass, didn't really catch anything in practice, so it's easy to not have a plan. You just ran out there and fished whatever looked good, got lucky, might not catch a bass tomorrow, but we'll see. All right. Well, I like the outlook. I look forward to seeing how it works out for you tomorrow. Let's bring out... A Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Richmond, Virginia, the barrister Edward Lochran III. Four fish for Ed here today. Six pounds, 14 ounces. And man, they, 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 this is the place that you can make a giant comeback. You've heard pros say it, but it is the truth. Yeah, I've been here now four different tournaments, and I never catch a limit the first day, and I've made the third day cut a couple times, so I always come back strong the second day, but it'd be nice to catch a limit the first day of one of these at the St. John's, but uh, I'll do better tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. He's a 2022 Bassmaster Classic Qualifier from Raceland, Louisiana, Tyler Rivette. Five fish here today, 11 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into ninth place currently. Eleven pounds, 13 ounces.
11-13 puts you in ninth place, uh, but got to be happy to be back here. And, uh, I mean, 24 days from now is the final day of the Bassmaster Classic, which you'll be competing in, and I know you're excited about that. I am. I, I can't wait for Hank to hand me the trophy, and uh, I, I'm not going to say all that. That's too much. <laughs> that would be cool. But I'm just honored to fish it. Uh, it's my lifelong dream to be on the Elites and to fish the Classic, so to get to do both of them is awesome. And uh, today I just went out to survive, and I think we did that. So tomorrow we're going to go to the juice and catch some hammers. Go get it done. Look forward to seeing you back here. His first time in the Bassmaster Elite Series. Welcome him right, ladies and gentlemen, from Alabama, Joseph Webster. Five fish for Joseph Webster here today. 11 pounds, 5 ounces. He moves into 10th place currently. It's his first day weighing in on the Elite Series stage. So welcome him right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a picture. Welcome to the Bassmaster Elite Series, and it's great to have you here. Well, I'm proud to be here. You know, it's a dream of mine from a long time ago, and, uh, you know, it just took a few roads to get here and finally here, and proud to be here. Proud to have you as part of this field. Just getting started. Right there. He's a six-time Bassmaster winner from Park Hill, Oklahoma. One of the most feared names in pro fishing, Jason Christie. Four fish here today for Jason Christie. 10 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into 11th place. And what is with all the pictures that people were posting about pre-fish and how cold it was? It does not seem like it was that cold literally this morning. It was really cold in practice. The different was it was blowing and cloudy and they were biting, you know. Whenever this ball of fire comes out, they start thinking about love and, and uh, I just lose them. I don't know where they go. So uh, I, I'm done practicing in Florida. I'm just going to show up, go fishing because it seems like it changes every single day. That ball of fire can get you in trouble. Let's bring out our reigning Rookie of the Year from Alabama, Josh Strachner. Took the Rookie of the Year title last year. Five fish here today, six pounds, eight ounces. And a tough start on day number one, but as you know, it's a long season, and uh, you can erase that the pain of today with a big bag tomorrow. Man, I hope so. You can definitely do it on this place. Uh, I actually, I actually thought I was going to catch them, you know, fairly well. But uh, it's just th this Florida deal, you know, <laughs> hero or zero, and uh, hopefully we can turn it around more. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Back on the Bassmaster Elite Series after a year off due to medical absence. Happy to have him here from Florida, Jesse Ticarante. Three fish here for Jesse Tecarante, four pounds, 13 ounces. And Jesse, great to have you back here on the Elite Series stage. Not the best day to start, but just good to be here. Um, guys, I'm sorry about Florida for those of you that are visiting. It's 30 degrees unacceptable. But, you know, it's been uh, a fun week. It really was. And I think a lot of the guys thought it's going to be better. But these uh, high blue days just kill it. And uh, congratulations to Bob. Boy, he whacked them, didn't he? Sure did. Yeah, man. We look forward to seeing you here all season long. He just had a baby just a few weeks, but well, he didn't, but his wife had a baby just a few weeks ago. The only Australian to ever win on the Elite Series. Fear of my heart, Carl Jacobson. Carl. You have been a father, what, for two and a half weeks or three weeks now? Yep, uh, two and a half weeks, and uh, little River, she's traveled about half the country already, so she's already traveled down from Tennessee all the way to Florida to be here, and it's, uh, people can tell you, you know, all, all my life how amazing it is to have kids, and I kind of always like, oh yeah, I'm sure it is, and I never could have imagined the feeling it is to be a dad. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm feeling very blessed, um, and today... I had one of the craziest starts ever. I started off better. I've, I've proved a myth. Do not catch a fish on your first cast. I, I rolled up to the lock, 
It was just about to open. I pulled up, dropped my trolling motor, pitched, caught the big that fish that I just held up on my first cast, boat flipped it, then drove into the lock, and everyone was like, "Are you kidding me?" I was like, That's how we do it, and then no cut, no bites anymore. <laughs> but you looked cool for a few minutes there. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was good. I yelled out to Swindle. I said, "Is that good luck or bad luck?" He said, "Sounds like good luck to me." <laughs> I'll catch him tomorrow. You'll get him tomorrow. Let's hear it for him. Sorry, just had some business had to take care of there. Busted me. Sometimes I can say it really quick and nobody notices. This is not one of those times. Let's bring out our next angler from Wisconsin, Elite Series champion, Caleb Kufal. Two fish today, nine pounds, eight ounces, so a little short on quantity, but at least you got some good quality bite. Yeah, I'm around the right ones. I don't know, just... Uh... I, I don't know. Today was a trying day. I didn't have a, a bite before 1 o'clock this afternoon and, uh, you know, caught two pretty decent ones. But I think we'll go the other way tomorrow and uh, we'll just try and get something else going. So got to catch a few more. We'll get him. We'll see you back here tomorrow. His first introduction here on the Elite Series stage from Wisconsin, Jay Shakurit. Four fish here today. If they don't remember you for your name, they will remember you for your weigh-in music. 13 pounds and an ounce. Or they'll remember you for giant fish. Phoenix Boats Big Bass right now at seven pounds, eight ounces. That was weighed in by Bob Downey. 6-1, still going to be leading that, but Jay, a great fish in your first day here on the Elite Series. Tell me about the music. Uh, that's polkas for anybody that doesn't know what that is. Uh, we play it every Sunday in central Wisconsin. It, it is, is, but normally it is with beer, is it not? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be, kind of. The, the beer probably makes it a lot cooler. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have beers at some point this year. A two-time Elite Series winner took a win here just a few years ago from Connecticut, Paul Mueller. Three fish today for Paul Mueller. Five pounds of four ounces puts you in 20th place. And you don't need a big hot shot to start on Thursday. The crowds get bigger, right? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm grateful to have fingers today. And I'll explain. Now, this is going to sound like a made-up story, but this is a true story. I'm fishing in a backwater, and there's a local sitting on a chair, and he goes, <clears throat> watch your hat. And I said, what do you mean, watch my hat? He goes, see that owl in the tree right there? I said, I looked up, and there's an owl staring at me. I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird. I'm waiting for some music or something, you know, but I'm like, all right, yeah. He goes, uh, he likes to grab people's hats and bring them out to the river. And then I'm like, this is bizarre. Am I awake right now? So anyways, long story short, I'm like, okay, yeah, have a good day. I go keep fishing. I fish my way out, right? The owl is behind me. I catch this little fish. I'm like, it's a keeper. So I swing it in the boat. I get my hand on the fish, and the owl's like, Phew! and I felt the talons graze my fingers. I just, like, pulled it away. I'm like, whoa. I got it on video, so it's coming. True story. I'm not making this up because I had a bad day. Uh, yeah, I'm thankful to have fingers. Go fishing tomorrow. Hopefully catch a big bag. See you tomorrow. If your phone rings on the way off the stage, it's the Bass Live crew calling you for that footage. I need you to get really loud, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome him back to the Bassmaster Elite Series, Jacob Prosnick. A four-time Bassmaster winner brings us four fish here today. Eight pounds and nine ounces. Jacob, great to have you back here. And uh, I've missed you here, but, uh, man, you worked hard to get back here, and we're proud to have you as part of the Elite Series field. Yeah, it's great to be back, man. It was just it, – it, it, it just brought back so many memories because this was the first tournament – or the second tournament we had the first year when I started with the Elite Series. It was right here at the St. John's. And, you know, them big bass laying around everywhere. So you always have them big expectations of catching them. I didn't do that today, but uh, – you know, it's just one of them days. I lost my jersey. So sorry to my sponsors. I don't know where it is. Um, so, 
That's why I'm wearing this. So that's how we started off this morning. Then the first one, about three pounds, I jumped off, lost it. But it just started out one of them days. But the good thing is we always have tomorrow. So there's always there's a 30-pound bag swimming around here. So we're going to put that Falcon in the wind tomorrow and see what happens. Great to have you back here, brother. An elite series champion, 12-time classic qualifier from Salem, Virginia, the cruise missile, John Cruz. Look out, ladies and gentlemen. Five fish. Needs 27 pounds, five ounces to take the lead. 28 pounds even! 28 pounds even! And the cruise missile is your brand new leader. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass! Wow. Bob Downey just lost the lead to the tournament. Right now, he is leading Big Bass for seven pounds, eight ounces. Not anymore. Eight pounds and an ounce. And you just took the overall lead and the Phoenix Mills Big Bass lead. And uh, what a way to start the season. You're not kidding. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to say, to be honest with you. I, you know, I, th I thought I could catch a limit and, um, you know, maybe catch a couple decent ones. I didn't know I was going to have five good ones, uh, and I didn't know I was going to catch an eight-pounder. I'd never saw anything like that in practice. So uh, uh, hopefully we can just continue to make adjustments and, and go fishing again tomorrow. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. This place makes me look really good for some reason. I, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's the John thing. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but uh, I, I'm really happy with the, with the decisions I've made in practice uh, because it really panned out today. I, I don't know what else to say. Pretty awesome, man. Congratulations. I can't wait to watch you on live tomorrow. You know, I just want to say thanks to my dad driving, driving over here. Uh, we're going to hang out later. Always going to be fun, and I appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. 28 pounds even, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Next up, he is a two-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. Five fish here today, 17 pounds, 12 ounces. Puts you in fourth place. Probably would have made this crowd make a lot of noise if you weighed in just one spot earlier. Patrick, I hate that, that John Cruz kind of rained on your parade a little bit, but you've done that to, to others. Hey, kudos to John. John had an amazing day. Hey, when you catch him like that, hey, round of applause to John. That's one of those days. But honestly, I'll take this. This is the best start I've had in four years here at St. John. So uh, usually it's a nine pounds or 13 pounds, so I'll start it with 17 and we'll go from there. Please don't tell me you think it's because of your lucky mustache is that a bet or what what is happening here well the old lady she doesn't like it too much so i figured i'd wear it just to mainly i have a terrible profile picture with bass every single year okay. so i just wanted to see how bad i could actually get it and we're working on it all right by the classic i want those rolled i'll buy you some wax for them or whatever you do he's an elite series champion from brookville indiana get loud for dollar bill lowen Five fish for Bill Lowen here today. Five fish for 20 pounds even. And he moves into third place currently. A great start for Dollar Bill Lowen. Twenty pounds, a great start for day number one. And Dollar Bill, I think those fish look even bigger with you this year. What are you trying to say? You look a little smaller, dude. Well, I've been working on it. Um, feel amazing. Um, it felt amazing to get back out there on the river today and run up and down the river in that express and that Yamaha and go catch some fish. You know what I mean? It's like all winter long you wait to feel that dunk. And today I got to feel it. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow and See if we can't catch another 20 pounds. Go get it done. Always oh, great to have you here. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier.
from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Derek Hudnall. Three fish for Derek Hudnall here today. Four pounds, 11 ounces, puts you in 26th place. And you've heard the excuse by this point of the way. And, you know, this is where you're supposed to say it's Florida and it doesn't matter about day when I'll get them tomorrow. I got to do a much better job of getting behind the right people in line. Because it was like tw two 20 pound bags. And I'm like, man, I should have waited a few minutes. Humbling day. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, I did everything I knew how to do to catch a bass today, and it just didn't work. Um, but, guys, I'm going to tell you all this right now. If, you, if you're not following John Cruz, one of my best friends in the world, I've been traveling with him for four years, and there's not a better man out there to follow and to root for. Guys, get behind that guy. Follow him on social media if you're not doing it already. He's absolutely one of a kind. And if you guys have any questions for him, he would give you anything out of, out of his boat for you guys. So please root for that guy. But thank you, Palatkin. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. From Mount Carmel, Tennessee, a Bassmaster Open winner, a three-time classic qualifier, David Mullins. Five fish for David Mullins here today. Nineteen pounds, seven ounces, and David Mullins moves into fifth place. Currently, a great start for Mullins here. Stop number one of the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series in beautiful Palatka, Florida. And man, that's a great start to the season right there. Heck yeah, I'll take that. After the practice I had, I was like, if I can catch 12 pounds a day, I think I'll be okay. And then I caught that one big one, and it kind of set the mood for the rest of the day. So am I to believe that things could get better throughout this tournament? Well, I mean, sunshine in Florida, it probably won't get better for me the way I'm catching them, but sunshine in Florida usually, you know, that's, uh, that's all tells you they're going to move up and try to start doing their thing. And, uh, yeah, I could see another 28-pound bag tomorrow. So who knows? Glad to be here. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Time to bring out our reigning and defending Elite Series Angler of the Year from Newmarket, Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. Five fish for Seth Fighter here today. 15 pounds even, and he moves into seventh place currently for your reigning and defending Bassmaster Angler of the Year. 15 pounds even, and that is gold. When you look at, at these weights here, I mean, uh, it wasn't easy for you today, but you got it done. No, it was really, really tough. I got lucky and got one nice fish. Everything I found in practice really fell apart. I was uh, just dobbing around up shallow, shaking a lot of fish off. And uh, now that the sun's out and I can see, I think most of those fish are spawning and they're all gone now. So kind of had to scrap it, and I'm really going to have to scrap it for tomorrow and just kind of figure something out as we go. I'm, I'm more confused now than I was before the day started. But uh, if we get eight hours, I'll, I'll figure something out. You always do. Always great to have you here. Let's hear it for him. From one angler of the year to another, this one from Texas. Get loud for Clark Wendlet. Two fish here on day number one for Clark Wendlet. Five pounds, 14 ounces, and man, it can be a beautiful body of water, but it could be a fickle body of water at times. It can be fickle, and you got to get those fish in the boat when you finally get those bites. And But I, I want to take a shout-out. I had a guy fish with me today, for, a military guy from the Navy, Dustin Vaughn. I will appreciate his service. And it, it was just fun visiting with him today, you know, just, just kind of catching up to what he does. He's been in the military for 11 years, and uh, thank you for everybody out there for your service. We sure appreciate it. Thank you, and it's great to have you here. Hot off a win just last week at the Bassmaster Opens from Fayetteville, Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. Five fish for Brandon Lester here today, 11 pounds, three ounces. He moves into 17th place, and uh, man, have you jumped off of cloud nine since last week? You finally get that first Bassmaster win, and man, what a response from the fishing community. You, you know, it was pretty amazing to see how happy people were for you. 
Yeah, it really was, man. I, I was telling some guys backstage, I didn't realize I had so many friends. It made, it made me feel good, man. It really did. But it was definitely nice to get that monkey off the back for sure. And, and knowing that I'm already qualified for the 2023 Classic is a huge, huge deal. I, I wasn't quite as stressed when I woke up this morning. But, I mean, I still want to catch them. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like I survived today and looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow. Great to have you out here. Let's bring out an Elite Series champion, a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Chattanooga. Give me a little love for Buddy Gross. Five fish for Buddy Gross, 17 pounds, two ounces. He's inside the top 10 in seventh place currently. Another great start for you, buddy. You got to be happy with today. Yo, I tell you, I, I had two days of practice with no bites, and uh, I was really struggling, and I just kind of got lucky today. Run into them, and it was late. So uh, hopefully they'll be there tomorrow and maybe make a run. Love to see you here all the way through to Sunday. Great to have you back here. A three-time TTBC champion, a two-time Elite Series champion from Huntington, Texas, Keith Combs. Four fish for Keith Combs here today. Seven pounds of five ounces, puts you in 25th place. And uh, like a lot of guys, you're going to be going for a rally tomorrow. You can do it here. That's the cool thing about this place. You know, you catch one fish that weighs seven, five to start your day tomorrow, and you have a good day. But, man, what a surprise. I thought the, uh, the fishing was going to be pretty good. You know, the water temperature hadn't fallen as much as I thought, but something changed. And I didn't, so tomorrow we've got to change and uh, make that big rally. Make the rally. I'll see you back here tomorrow. From Corbin, Kentucky, give me a little love for Mike Huff. Mike Huff, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Got a second-place finish just last season on the Elite Series. Seven pounds, ten ounces here today. Put you in 25th place currently, and uh, you're part of that rally crew tomorrow. I am, yeah. I mean, the good play, good thing about the St. John's River is you're one bite away from having a good bag, so I'm looking forward to getting back out there. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. Four fish here today. Nine pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 20th place currently. Nine, 11, and Hunter Shryock sitting in 20th place. And uh, as you've seen from the way in, I mean, it's gonna, that scoreboard is gonna change a lot tomorrow. It is, you know, this place is all about those couple bites. That's typical Florida fishing. And, you know, we got thrown a curveball once again, and you're going to hear that a lot. But I didn't really think it was going to mess them up as badly as what it did. But, uh, you know, I'll keep the Berkeley Max scent in my hand and try to coax some more Florida bites and hopefully, hopefully bring in five tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. Go get it done. We'll see you back here. Awesome to have you back on the Elite Series. Two-time Elite Series champion, two wins in just as many years from Longview, Texas, the Marshal Lee Livesey. Five fish for Lee Livesey here today. 18 pounds, 15 ounces, and Lee Livesey inside the top 10 once again on the Bassmaster Elite Series sitting in sixth place for day one, the AFCO Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. Everybody's happy to be back, Lee, but people that weigh bigger back seem to be a little happier. I imagine you're a part of that crew. Yeah, that makes you smile a little bit better right there. Uh, man, what a day. It feels good to be back and, and be back in Palatka. What a great crowd. This uh, this place is awesome. Thank you all so much. But it just feels good to be back competing, you know. Uh, I want to beat everybody, and, and it feels so good out here. Awesome to have you back here, and I'm looking forward to a good season. 
All right. What are you thinking about a cold bush light later? Oh, sure. Yeah. You should bring one up every weigh-in day. I can do that if you, if you talk to the boss. Well, I'm not going to talk, but if you, I mean, I, I believe in the plan. It's better to beg for forgiveness. We shouldn't have this conversation in front of all these people because that'll make that part hard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I do want to give Bushlight a big shout out, man. They're trying to get back in the outdoors and the fishing industry, and there's nothing better than a cold Bushlight after a long day of fishing. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I look forward to it. He's a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Kyle Welcher. Two fish for Kyle Welcher here today. Three pounds, 12 ounces, not the start you wanted in 37th place, but I've seen you catch 10 pounders here in the past, so you know how quick it can change. Yeah, you know, that's definitely not the start I wanted. That's not what, you know, keeps you up at night that you're dreaming about. But I really want to get back out there tomorrow and dial this in. I just don't like coming off the water and never really grasping what's going on out there. So I'm, And I'm really excited we got another tournament next week because I need some redemption from today bad. So if I can't do it tomorrow, I'm definitely going to do it at Harris Chain. But we're definitely going to get out there and try to find us another 10-pounder. Great to have you back here. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, qualifier for the 2022 Bassmaster Classic from North Carolina, KJ Queen. Two fish for three pounds, 15 ounces, and uh, KJ, you continuing the, the trend of our young rookies that a year ago didn't grow a lot of facial hair and probably trying to grow it about two years too early by the looks of things right now. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just trying to get it growing, but hey, it's, it's getting there just a little bit, you know. I mean, it, I got the caterpillar going. What has your generation done to professional angling? Mullets and weird... Like, really? Looking good, that's all I got to say. Exactly, and owning it. <laughs> Great to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I know you're going to get loud, ladies and gentlemen. The 2003 Classic Champion, 2006 Angler of the Year, returning to Bass from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Go Ike for Mike Iconelli! And all that for one fish that weighs almost a pound, ladies and gentlemen. That is 14 ounces of thunder! I'm happy to have you back here. I'm glad to be back. Listen, that's not the return I wanted. And, and I want to tell you something. I love Florida. I love the state. I love the Get people. your hand off the microphone. I Things have changed. I love the people. I love the food. I love everything about it, but I hate Florida bass. But we love you. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. He's a former Elite Series Angler of the Year, six-time Bassmaster winner from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. What a track record he has here. <laughs> Five fish for eight pounds even. I said he has a track record, and you said... I got derailed today, I think. <laughs> Your track record here is so stellar, but I mean, you know how quick things can change here in Florida. And definitely, if today's weather, literally this morning, you know, it was below freezing and it's pretty nice out here now. You know what surprised me? I actually caught the majority of those fish in the first couple hours and I was like, this is wild for them to bite with it that cold. Yeah. Well, it'll just get better. Well, it deteriorated from there, but... uh. It's right. It's one swing of the hammer here, and all of a sudden you get well real quick. And I really thought this afternoon when that sun got high, and it's so nice out today compared to what we've had, that they would really show up. And I, I see they did for one guy anyway, but uh, I keep my head down tomorrow, and hopefully one of them big Florida bass show up. I'm not counting you out. Keep him. Keep him. He's going he's gonna to make it to Sunday, I think, or at least Saturday. Our next angler, a Bassmaster Open winner from Manny, Louisiana. Daryl Gleason. Four fish here today. Four fish for seven pounds, three ounces. Puts you in 30th place right now. Six. 
seven pounds, three ounces here today, moving to 30th place, and uh, another shot of them again tomorrow. Yeah, man. Like, uh, today was just day one of chewing on the little elephant that I'm going to eat this whole year. I got a lot of events this year, and today was just day one, and so we're hoping we got the bad day out of the way, and the rest of it just be uphill. You're going to eat an elephant this year? Is that what you... I'm fishing all the Elite Series and all nine open, so I don't care what you want to call it. That's a lot of fishing to do, and today was just, just a little bite, just a little bit something. All right. Okay. I got you. That's a new analogy. Going to eat the elephant this year. Our next angler, his second season on the Elite Series, qualified for the Classic in his rookie season, Mark Frazier. Five fish here today. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And as I said, qualified for the Classic. 15 pounds even, moves into ninth place. Fifteen pounds even, and a good start to your second season here on the Elite Series. And uh, this is going to be a big month. I mean, starting out the season again, and you got your first classic ahead of you in just a few weeks. And uh, that's a good way to start things. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I didn't, I didn't realize I had uh, what I had, but I mean, it was tough on me today. I just poked around. And I felt like I was in no man's land the whole day, but. Uh, late in the day, I had a, a little flurry. I caught three that, that really helped me, so I'm thankful for that. But, yeah, the Classic's coming up, and I'm, I'm pretty dang excited about that. So I'm looking forward to getting out there. Looking forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Get inside that cut. Let's bring up an Elite Series a champion, one of only two Canadians to own that honor from Kiwatin, Ontario, the great Canadian snow leopard, Jeff Gustafson. Gussie with five fish here today. Nine pounds, three ounces, puts him in 26th place. And uh, Gussie, decent start to things. I mean, everybody assumed things were going to be tough with the way the weather was in pre-fish. Yeah, I, I actually had the best practice I've had here in four, you know, four times coming. Um, and, yeah, they didn't – pushing a jerk bait pretty hard. They didn't like the sun and the calm, calm winds, I guess. But uh, I will do better tomorrow. Um, Got lots of lots of stuff to fish. I went into Rodman, and um, it's fun. It's fun fished in there. There's all kinds of cover and you know big lake, but got to get some big ones tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Go get it done. Okay. Let's hear it for him. An elite series champion from Benton, Arkansas. Get loud for Stetson Blaylock. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Five fish here today. 22 pounds even, and he moves into third place currently. Twenty-two pounds even in Stetson Blaylock. Rounding out our top three here on day number one at the Avco Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. 22 even, and Stetson, that's a great start to this derby. It is, absolutely. I had a, a pretty bad practice. It was, uh, of course, everybody knows the weather was kind of stinky, but that's part of this game, and uh, I definitely ran what I thought was going to be good, and it, it, it was not good, so I kind of had to throw an audible, and it happened to work today, but uh, I feel like there's some more fish there. I don't know if I can catch another bag like that, but I know I'm going to go swing for them. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A great start to things. A six-time Bassmaster winner, a former Elite Series Angler of the Year from Rathdrum, Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polinick. Five fish here today on day number one of the 2022 Elite Series season. 13 pounds, four ounces. He moves into 14th place halfway through this way and sitting in 14th place with 13 pounds and four ounces. That's a pretty decent start to things. Eh, it's all right. I mean, I had a lot higher hopes for it than 13 pounds, and I got two of the right bites, and then I just couldn't get any more good bites after that. So here we sit, middle of the pack probably, and I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to do tomorrow. That is, you could have brought a much better excuse than that. They did not come here and sit in this sunshine to hear you don't know what you're going to do. 
I have no clue. That doesn't mean that I won't catch 30 pounds tomorrow. It just means that I don't know where I'm going to do that yet. Oh, all right. Well, we, will you tell us tomorrow? Sure. Why not? All right. Well, go get the dirty 30 tomorrow, and we'll see you back here. From one elite series champion to another from Springville, Alabama, the little ball of hate, Wes Logan. Five fish here today. 13 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into 13th place himself. 13, 15. And Wes Logan, who took a win last year on Neely Henry. 13, 15. Decent start. Paul Nick wasn't real excited about 13. How are you feeling about 13? I'm tickled pink about 13, 15, because at about 315, I had about 615. And I, I don't know, I made a little adjustment, and I, it really wasn't an adjustment. It was the water warming up, and I got to do something I like to do, and I caught two really good ones. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but uh, I don't know. we got to figure out how to catch them. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. At least he was a lot more positive. Let's bring this guy out for the first time at the Bassmaster Elite Series from Old Forge, PA, Jonathan Kelly. Took the Angler of the Year title last year in the Northern Opens. Five fish here today. 18 pounds and four ounces. His first day on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And say hello to Jonathan Kelly. 18 pounds, four ounces, and currently sitting in eighth place at the Avco Bassmaster Elite on the St. Johns River. Eighteen four, and that is how you want to start your Elite Series career. Way to go. Oh, that was an awesome start. It was a crazy day. It was definitely tough. I actually did not give up. I caught the fifth keeper on the last cast. My marshal actually was like, man, when do we got to get going? And I said, we're about to. And I said, let me get one more cast in. And I caught the fifth keeper, and we hauled. I got back with one minute left. So it was a, great, it was a good day. It was a good start to my first Elite Series event. And the first day, I'm excited about it. I'm happy to weigh in that, and I'm looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow and seeing what tomorrow brings. Looking forward to having you here all year long. From one Elite Series rookie to another, a former classic qualifier through the college bass. Let's hear it from Ava, Missouri, Cody Huff. A former college bass champion. Five fish here today, and nine pounds, seven ounces. He moves into 28th place, and welcome to the Bassmaster Elite Series. I mean, incredible what you've accomplished since the Classic, and I feel like you're just getting started. Man, I hope you're right. I'm excited to be here. You know, it's a dream come true just to be here this week. I've, I've always wanted to be on the stage my whole life, and it's come true. So uh, just a good lesson for all you high school and college kids that you can get there. You can get there if you work hard, and you definitely have. And here's a good life lesson. Last year, it was his first day weighing in the Elite Series. Four days later, he was an Elite Series champion. Let's hear it for your defending champion from South Carolina, Brian New. Five fish for Brian New here today on day number one. 18 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into eighth place currently at the Avco Bassmaster Elite on the St. John's River. Our defending champion put on a show for Bass Live here today. 18 pounds, 11 ounces, and a good start to things. And dare I say you were managing fish today. <laughs> I tried, but <laughs> not as good as I should have. Uh, I don't know. Awesome day, man. Um, I hadn't really looked at the weights, but sitting back there hearing the weights, uh, I think they called them better than I thought, uh, which is pretty much always the case. Um, but, you know, I, I did lose two big ones today. It's part of it. I ain't the only one that did it. I'm ready to get back out there tomorrow, uh, run that falcon around, and uh, hopefully catch some bass, large bass. What place were you in after day one last year? I don't know. <laughs> I think you're going to be better this year. I hope. I hope. I like the way that it ended last year. It was pretty fun. That's all up to you. 
I it's, it's up to more people than me. Somebody a lot a lot stronger than me. But hey, if it's my time, it's my time. If it's not, I'm gonna shake the other man's hand. Always great to have you here. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. A two-time Elite Series champion from Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. Five fish for J. Willie here today. Five fish for 11 pounds, 14 ounces. Puts you in 23rd place, but great to have you back here, J. Willie. Man, it's good to be back. It's good to be back at Palatka. This is Thursday, and look at this crowd here. It's pretty awesome to be here. You know, this place has got a lot of big ones in it. It didn't uh, happen for me today, but tomorrow could be a totally different day. Definitely could, and we look forward to seeing how it works out for you. A two-time Bassmaster winner, a six-time classic qualifier from Fort Worth, Texas, the Zal Dangerous one, Chris Zaldane. Five fish for Chris Zaldane here today. Nineteen pounds, three ounces. He moves into seventh place with nineteen pounds, three ounces. And that big bite there is a major reason why. And wow, a great start to the season, Chris. Yeah, man, we got uh, we got some new partners, got some new friends on our side uh, this year. And uh, today, this is the best start I've ever had in Florida. And um, every time I walk up this walk walkway here, it seems like in years past, you know, I was super bummed. But today, I'm I'm super chill, relaxed. I fish really slow. I got some new flipping sticks, some new soft plastics in my hand, and and uh, I fish real confidently today. And um, that big fish bit late for me, and I kind of knew it was going to happen with uh, the outgoing tide. But fishing up there in Rodman, I have a little something all to myself. So I think I can come in with a consistent bag all week. New partners, I haven't heard of this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this was your opportunity. <laughs> no, no, we brought him some new partners. Um, the Guggen Squad guys, I'm sure any kid that's uh, 22 years old or younger knows who that is. But they make some awesome soft plastics. I caught that big one today on a Bandito bug. Scott Martin, my buddy Rob Turkula, he, um, you know, they kind of developed that bait, and uh, it absolutely catches fish. I caught like an eight and a half or nine pounder on it last week, and then a, like a seven pounder on it today. So that thing absolutely works. Uh, 13 fishing rods and reels are right out of Tampa, uh, Florida, right here, just down the way. Awesome people and legit product. I mean, I was new punching rod and eight foot punching rod and and uh, seven and a half foot flipping stick, and I I just felt right at home. Always great Thank to you. have you here. Great start to things. He's a two-time Elite Series champion from Greenwood, South Carolina, the C-O-double-B, Brandon Cobb. One fish today, but it looks like a good one, ladies. If you're going to catch one, it might as well be nine pounds, 13 ounces. A brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass right there. A 913 for the C O Double B. Nine thirteen. At what point today did you did did you start with that or where did that be beast bite? So I thought I was gonna zero. And then uh, I had two bites early, like a three and a four pounder and lost both of them. And then missed two or three is like, this is not going well. I had the worst luck I've ever had for half the day. And I guess that made up for it. So hopefully, oh, and he also had a, I have a tag in my pocket. He was tagged. So it's a, I don't know if that's worth anything, but he's tagged. So it's a weird day. Really weird. Hopefully I can, hopefully he keeps me in it enough to figure him out tomorrow and do a little better. That was a giant <laughs> fish. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. The first Canadian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Get loud for Chris Johnston. Chris Johnston bringing us five fish here today. Has had some great finishes here in the St. John's River and another good start here today. 17 pounds and nine ounces. He moves into 12th place currently was 17 pounds and nine ounces. Seventeen nine and another good start on the St. John's River for you. 
I'll take it and run. Um, <laughs> they were hard to come by today. Uh, I think I caught two of my best fish in the last hour, so I'm happy at a late check-in. But uh, going to go out and just go fishing tomorrow again and see if I can run into them. But I'm glad to be in Florida. The sun's shining. It's not a bad thing. Always a great thing to have you here. Keep on catching them. From one Elite Series champion to another, all the way from Japan, get loud for Takumi Ito. Five fish for Takumi Ito here today. 16 pounds, four ounces, 16.4. And he moves into 14th place currently. Sixteen pounds, four ounces, and you sometimes say largemouth don't like you. They liked you today. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think so because uh, I, I fish in uh, so near close to fish, so fish, many fish escape my boat. Maybe Florida bass don't like me. <laughs> They like you a lot better than some others today. Yeah, yes. Today is a little, little bit lucky, but so small mass always coming my boat, but Florida mass is uh, almost always escape. So it's it's a little bit tough for me. But 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 uh, I I can do that. So today is a better day. Go get him again tomorrow. Okay, always great to have him here. Let's hear it for Takumi Ito, ladies and gentlemen. And next up, I know you're going to get loud. He is the champ, champ, a back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion from Maiden, North Carolina, Hank Cherry. Five fish for Hank Cherry here today. 13 pounds, 14 ounces. Puts him in 19th place inside the top 20. Thirteen pounds, fourteen ounces, sitting in nineteenth place, and uh, a decent start to things, Hank. Yeah, it, it was a good day. I apologize to anybody I was watching live. I think I had a moment where I had some choice words that I probably shouldn't have said. I had a little trolling motor issue. We tried to uh, take care of it, but I ended up. God, I love a foot pedal because I use that remote control the rest of the day, and it was just not fun. I'm gonna get that fixed. But uh, I want to thank all the first responders, the military people, the veterans. I appreciate what you do. It's tough times right now. You guys are super important. So look, listen to me. If you're a military veteran, first responder, anybody in that class, please, if you see me, go to the parking lot, take a Sharpie, sign my hood. I'm getting as many signatures as I can across the country this year, and we're going to auction that thing off, take the hood off, and auction off at the end of the year for a good cause. I mean, I appreciate what you do, and I'm trying to give back the best I can. This place has fish in it. It fishes a lot different than the first time we came, the second time we came, the third time we came, the fourth time, every time we come. But they're big. If you just can land on them and find them, I caught two of the right ones. I lost one of them. But overall, good day, great start, 2022. Let's just keep it rolling. Great to have you here, and that's an incredible program. Thank you. His first time on the Bassmaster Elite Series stage, a former classic qualifier, a former college bass champion from Tennessee, Jacob Fouts. An incredible job to qualify here and be part of the Bassmaster Elite Series. Three fish, eight pounds, 14 ounces, puts them in 39th place. Jacob, welcome to the Bassmaster Elite Series. When I first met you, I coined you the paper boy because you did have no facial hair or nothing, but you're, I mean, you might be the UPS driver now. I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you tell me. I know I probably don't look quite as young with the beard these days, but uh, paper boy was fun while I lasted anyway. Well, it's awesome to have you here in the Elite Series, and it's an amazing accomplishment for you to qualify through the Open. It's one of the toughest things to do, literally, in the sport of fishing right now. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, I'm super excited to be here. Obviously, it's a little disappointing start, but this place has got them, and, and, and you know, you can catch 30 pounds out here anytime, so that's what we're going to go try to do tomorrow. Always great to have you here. I'm happy to have you part of the Elite Series. Oh, we got more rookies coming, and this guy worked real hard to be here. Give him a little love, ladies and gentlemen, from Minnesota, the first time crossing the Elite Series stage, Josh Douglas. Josh, great to have you here. One fish here today. 
Two pounds, seven ounces. Two pounds, seven ounces. You don't have to hold that fish up. It's all right. You're going to catch a bunch more. But, man, you've worked incredibly hard to get here, and uh, we're sure happy to have you as part of the Elite Series. Yeah, I think I'd have dreamed this my first walk up onto the Elite stage a little bit differently than this. But uh, really nothing in my life's ever come too easy. So if it was, if I did jump off to a good start, that'd probably be a bad omen. But I uh, do make my living bass fishing, and I am sitting on the best stage in the world right now. So we're just going to have to go catch them tomorrow. Go get it done. We love having you here. This next guy knows how to exit the stage, ladies and gentlemen. You guys all want to get loud from You always do. From Palatka, Florida, he is the Prince of Palatka, Cliff Prince. Five fish here today for Cliff Prince. Eight pounds, 15 ounces, puts him in 39th place and a tough start to things. But, man, you always seem to overcome. No matter what obstacles get thrown at you, there's a lot of fishing still ahead. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't win it on the first day, but I pretty much, you know, uh, I mean, they were not where they were supposed to be. I can tell you that. And, I mean, I run all over, and, and I was some bad by 9 o'clock. But, you know, it is what it is. I didn't ever really get, get the best of me, but – uh. They just weren't where I thought they were going to be. Well, they shot them then tomorrow. That's right. We're going to go do something totally different tomorrow, and we're going to catch them tomorrow. You guys come out. Thank you, dude. Took an Elite Series win last year on Lake Champlain. Get loud. Brian Schmidt. Qualified for the Bassmaster Classic in just a few weeks. Eight pounds, four ounces, puts him in 43rd place. But uh, we don't got to talk about the classic yet. You got to focus on tomorrow and how you're going to turn things around. Well, first of all, I'm glad somebody in the missile crew called him. My hat's off to John. It looks like he had a re really, really good day. I couldn't get comfortable today. I had my opportunity on three other fish, only weighed four in a day. Really got to settle down, slow down tomorrow, and see if we can make something happen. Get it done. I've seen you come back before. A former Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama. Get loud for Scott Canterbury. Scott Canterbury, the 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year. Two wins on the FLW Tour. Ten Bassmaster Top Tens. Gives him 12 pounds, 13 ounces today. Puts him in 24th place currently with 12 pounds, 13 ounces for Scott Canterbury to kick off the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series season. And big bites like that is the whole reason everybody loves coming to Florida. You know, you live and die by that big bite here, but it can change things in a hurry. <laughs> it can definitely change things in a hurry, but it was tough to get any bites today. Uh, we're going to go out there and fish hard tomorrow and uh, see where it goes. You know, they live here. There's some giants live here, and I'm looking forward to getting back out there. But, you know, uh, thanks to everybody coming out. It's pretty awesome to see everybody here. I'm glad to be fishing again. Uh, got the same, same core sponsors I've always had. I did hook up with uh, Whitetail Heaven. If anybody loves deer hunting, I know a lot of fishermen like deer hunting too. Whitetail, free-range Whitetail, give them a look. Uh, it's a hunt of a lifetime. Turkey hunting too, so give them a look. Check it out. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about fishing. All right, let's bring out a 10-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, former TTBC champion from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron. Matt Heron with five fish here today. Five fish for 12 pounds, 10 ounces, puts him in 27th place currently. And he's going to dig deep in there and hold him up, get a picture on Bassmaster.com, ladies and gentlemen. 12 pounds, 10 ounces, and uh, puts you in 27th place as we're kind of on the last quarter of the way. And so a decent day on day one, but, I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy. No, it wasn't real easy. I threw everything I had at him but the kitchen sink. It, uh, this whole river's changing right now, and the weather's changing, and, uh, the areas that I planned on fishing, the water temperature fell four degrees in the last two days, and it just really locked them down. 
I had to scramble to, to come up with what I come up with, but I think, you know, got a few hints and clues there tomorrow. We're going to get some 70-degree days. I think you're going to see these weigh-ins tomorrow. Gonna, it'll start getting better. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Our next angler from Del Rio, Texas. Give me a little love for Ray Hanselman. Junior. Five fish for Ray Hanselman here today. A two time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Five fish for 14 pounds, two ounces. Puts him in 18th place inside the top 20. Fourteen pounds, two ounces, sitting inside the top twenty right now in eighteenth place. So uh, might not have been the goal going out there, but a pretty decent finish. Yeah, I actually uh, didn't have a fish in the boat till noon. I, I had some offshore sh uh, shell bed stuff, and I ran about six, eight of them, and never caught a fish. And I had a, some, you know, some shallow stuff, and I waited, and it warmed up, and uh, I, I went through there and went, made one pass, caught two, and made another pass, caught two, and then. And came back and caught another one. You know, it, it's just a small stretch. But uh, I, I want to thank you for your Christmas card again. No problem. No problem. Uh, I, I, I wrote it myself. Yeah, I actually wanted to thank your wife because that I, I know you didn't do that. <laughs> I married her. <laughs> She's not sending you a card on her behalf. Yeah, but she probably. I'm not sending you a card next year just for this right now. You're not getting a good. Honey, strike him off the Christmas card list. No, we appreciate it every year. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate you bringing it up because everybody I don't send a Christmas card to will now remind me I didn't get a Christmas card from you. Yeah. I also want to thank uh, my new sponsor, Bullseye Services. They're out of Midland. You know, if it wasn't for that Permian Basin out there, I couldn't do this. Uh, you know, Corey Wisman and uh, Stacy Smith and Chris Smith, man, they, they just stand behind me, the, you know, throughout thick and thin. Always great to have you here, and Merry Christmas. From North Carolina, returning to the Bassmaster Elite Series, give me a little love for David Williams. Qualified for the Bassmaster Elite Series, not once, but twice, and we're happy to have him back here. Five fish today, 11 pounds, 11 ounces, all the ones. Puts him in a 30-second place, but maybe all those ones is... Telling the future on day four, you've got four ones, maybe you'll be in first. Well, I, I can't complain about it. I'm just glad I got to go fishing today. And, and uh, I had a little bit of adversity this morning right off the bat. And, uh, you know, a couple of the guys on the tournament staff and, and service crews, KJ Queen, they all pitched in, helped me out, got me going, or I wouldn't even been able to fish today. Great cruise and great to have you back here. Day number one. Here on the Elite Series. Let's bring out one of our other anglers from Lake Wiley, South Carolina, Todd Otten. I haven't done this for 207 days, okay? I've done nothing, just so you know, if you're wondering. Five fish here today, six pounds even, puts them in 55th place. And tomorrow, I will have a better introduction for you. Well, you know, in practice, it was kind of tough, but uh, I caught a couple that could have ate that for a snack. But uh, it might have been the smallest limit yet. I don't know. I, I don't know. There's been some small ones. Oh, okay. Well, tomorrow's going to be a different day, I'm sure. And, um, you know, there's a lot of good fish around where I was fishing, but just didn't get the bites today. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a different day. We're going to get them. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I know you're going to get loud. He is a two-time Elite Series Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish for Gerald Swindle here today. Nine pounds, 10 ounces, puts him in 38th place. And Sexy, ain't it? Straight up, straight up smashed him right there, son. That's... That's running around lost, son, like last year's Easter eggs. I'm just poking around out there in that timber and robbing like I was blind with a white cane, just looking around them little old trees. They'll swim out in front of my Garmin live scope, and they'll kick their little old fins, and you'll throw at them, and they'll go down, and then they'll swim off, and then I'll say ugly words. It's all day, all day. And then I'm like, boy, I don't think they bit up there. And then you get in the lock, some guys are like, I got 300 pounds. I'm like, good God, I do suck up there. <laughs> I, 
I need to regroup. I mean, I had to make a big adjustment and come. When I locked back down, I only had three swimmers, so I thought I had something figured out down here, but that shortly played out like my first three relationships in the sixth grade. It lasted about 15 minutes. I said, no, that was just luck. I'm going to go to the weigh-in now. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, and hopefully I'm a little bit more lucky. It's good to be back at Palaka, home of the Palaka lean. For everybody who's always wondered about them squatted trucks, they say it's from South Carolina. I said, y'all better check your history. That come from Palaka, Florida, and it's called the Palaka lean. So I told a guy that, and he goes, I was wondering why all them trucks sticking straight up in there. I said, they're coon hunting. <laughs> There's only one Gerald Swindle, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the noise coming for a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, seven-time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida, unfinished family business, Scott Martin. Four fish here today. Nine pounds and five ounces puts him in 43rd place, and uh, great to have you back here. Oh, it's awesome to be back. You know, it's a uh, second season on the tour. I was looking forward to this tournament a lot, making a little redemption from last year, but at 12 o'clock today, I had no fish, and I was sitting there going, oh, my gosh, this is like a bad deal. But salvage today, caught four. Uh, the good thing is, and i got to be optimistic, because when you come in with nine pounds here, you say to yourself, oh, my gosh, I'm out of it. But if you remember, Cliff Prince almost won this a few years back. Had nine pounds the first day. Came back, I think he finished second. There's a warming trend coming. I just got to keep making adjustments. If I can make the right adjustment, you can catch one of those 28, 29-pound bags and get yourself back in it. So, you know, the Lord blessed me with four, and that's the best I can do today. And I want to say hi to my wife and hi to all the fans out here. So that's it. Great to have you back here. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. From one Florida angler to another, a nine-time classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida, Bernie Schultz. Five fish for Bernie Schultz here today. Thirteen pounds, seven ounces. He moves into 22nd place with 13 pounds, seven ounces. We are 68 anglers into our weigh-in, ladies and gentlemen. And it's 13 pounds, 7 ounces. 13.7 got you in 22nd place, Bernie, so a decent start to things. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. I, I kind of was apprehensive this morning. I, I wasn't sure which way I was going and made a right-hand turn, went into Rodman. Save Rodman. We need to save Rodman, people. Um, yeah. Just, I'm not going to complain. It was, it was a slow day, but but uh, the fish were, you know, they kept coming. So maybe tomorrow. Go get it done. Great to have you back here, Bernie. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Colgate, Oklahoma, Luke Palmer. Luke Palmer with five fish here today. Five fish for 10 pounds of 14 ounces. He moves into 36th place currently, but uh, tomorrow going to be a lot of moving on that leaderboard. Oh, it, it better, and I'd better move the right way and not the wrong way, but it was it was a struggle today. You know, I just never did really get into them like I needed to, and uh, I had a decent practice, which is bad. Uh, I guess cold weather knocked them back, but hey, we're going to run that Phoenix back down there and try it again tomorrow. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Brandon Card. Five fish for Brandon Card here today. 14 pounds, 10 ounces. 14, 10. And Brandon Card moves into 18th place currently. Fourteen ten and sitting in 18th place and uh, had a pretty eventful offseason, you know, became a father. I mean, yeah. big things going on with you. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely take the baby pattern for sure. It seems like guys always catch them good when they have a baby. Uh, but I, I have a little uh, little boy. He's four and a half months now, and uh, it's just so neat to watch him grow. Uh, just want to say hi to, to him and my wife back home. But, yeah, it was an awesome off season. Um, still trying to figure out how to be a dad and a fisherman, but, uh, but yeah, I'll take it. The hardest thing to leave, but the greatest thing to come home to every single time. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. A three-time U.S. Open champion, seven-time classic qualifier from Payson, Arizona, the Golden Ram, Clifford Perch. 
Three fish for Clifford here today. Eight pounds, seven ounces, puts you in 52nd place. And boy, oh boy, it is going to be a shootout tomorrow. Yeah, well, I better bring more bullets, I guess, if that's the case. But, uh, yeah, you know, I drove a long ways to weigh eight pounds. But uh, I lost a couple fish today. I, I, I really enjoy fishing here, but, man, it's, it's really fickle. So uh, I got some work to do. I'm super thankful to be out here. I'm running uh, a Phoenix and a Suzuki, and, and uh, I couldn't be luckier. So uh, I'm really thankful. I'm going to go do a little better job tomorrow. See you back here tomorrow. Great to have you back here this year. He's a three-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion from Auburn, Alabama, Steve Kennedy. One fish here today. He caught one fish on purpose to represent his team. Auburn is the number one basketball team in the nation, and he decided to monument that moment before they lose probably their number one ranking when the new rankings come out. But today, Auburn is number one, and so are you, Steve Kennedy. No. <laughs> I tried. But, but I, I don't think I'm dead last. I think I beat Mike, so. Uh... <laughs> you did. You did. You did. <laughs> That's about all I got. Uh, anyway, tough day. I kept Cinco in my hand like I'm supposed to, and uh, I didn't get bit. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to change up my rotation a little bit. And uh, Anyway, I saw a few. It may happen. Go get it done. If you see Mike backstage, just tell him never to give up. From Newman, Georgia, Elite Series champion Micah Frazier. Five fish here today. for the five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. 20 pounds, four ounces. He moves into fourth place with 20 pounds and four ounces for Micah Frazier. Double guns loaded. 20 pounds and four ounces sitting in fourth place. And both Frazier brothers catching him here today. Stop one of the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series. Not going to take over Big Bass. 8-12, and if it wasn't for Brandon Cobb, he caught one fish all day. So, I mean, you got to feel bad for a guy like that, right? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm all good. You know, uh, I, I had a terrible practice, so I'm, I'm really thankful to have what I had. And I didn't catch a lot of fish, so uh, I can't complain. And I need to say hey to my little boy. He's out there watching. Told me to catch a big fish yesterday, so... I guess 8-12 is big enough, but uh, we should go out there tomorrow and see if we can catch something. 8-12 is definitely big enough. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Next up from Reed Springs, Missouri, ladies and gentlemen, seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Chad Morgan Taylor. Five fish here today for Chad Morgan Taylor. Five fish, day number one. 14 pounds at five ounces. He moves into 20th place here on day one at the AFCO Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. <laughs> 14 pounds, five ounces, and that's a decent start to things. Obviously, we're winding down our way, and I think about 20 anglers left away, and you're sitting in 20th place, so not bad. No, you know, I'm really happy with that. Um, it was tough to get a bite today. I probably caught a dozen fish, maybe, uh, and, and switched it up a little bit. I, I have no idea where um, w where those fish are going or if they just didn't bite. I can't see them very well right now, and, and it wasn't like it was in practice. So I, I'm just going to keep grubbing around and uh, hopefully make the right moves whenever I need to. The sunshine's definitely changing things. It's warming the water up fast, and it's causing them to move around a little bit. But... Uh, Hopefully we can stay on them. Florida's usually good to you, and it is being again. Ladies and gentlemen, this next angler coming up here is unbelievable what I'm about to announce. Competing in his 475th Bassmaster event, 32-time classic qualifier, 16-time winner, Rick Clun. Rick Clun. One fish here today, three pounds, 14 ounces. But Rick, 
your 475th Bassmaster event. It's unbelievable, and man, you are an inspiration every single day, whether it's one fish or you, you have to bring people up to hold the fish up here. We've seen both sides, but thank you for everything you do, Rick. Well, you know, a writer, Steve Wright, he was saying, how many years have you been fishing? And I honestly don't know. I said, I think in the low 40s, and he said, what's your first year you fished? And I said, 1974. He went, this is your 48th year. And you had told me I had been doing this for 48 years. I would have been, I'd be the happiest man on the planet. Good to see you, Dave. Always great to see you here. Thank you, Rick. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. 475 Bassmaster events. Unbelievable. Our next angler, a former Forest Wood Cup champion from Florence, Alabama, Justin Atkins. Five fish here today. I'm predicting big things for this dude this year on the Elite Series. Five fish for Justin Atkins, 14 pounds, 13 ounces. Moves him into 19th place. He's inside the top 20. Thirteen and big bites like that go a long, long way. But uh, a great start to the season. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'll uh, I'll take big bites whenever I can get them. So uh, I was a little bit shocked when I got it. I actually just wheeled in on a deal. I wasn't even going there. Um, picked up a bait I hadn't thrown all day and caught it on the first cast. So uh, it was it was a good surprise. Um, I was a little rusty today. I missed a couple bites. It might have caught some of those smaller ones. But we're uh, we're getting it going. Hopefully, we can keep it going tomorrow. Big season this year. Look out. Atkins is going to be a big mover this year in the Elite Series. Our next angler, a two-time, a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Kentucky, Matt Robertson. A man more slick than an ugly stick, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Robertson. 13 pounds even puts him in 30th place right now. Thirteen pounds even sitting in 30th place, but I am just happy to be this close to you once again. Yeah, the St. John. I'm happy to be next to you, Dave, too, Dave. Um, St. John's kind of ticked me off today. Last year in this tournament, I about lost my lucky hat, and it took me 15 minutes of tournament fishing to find the sucker right out here. And I'm telling you, it wasn't 200 yards away this morning. My damn hat blew off again. And the St. John's took her, so I just meant, I guess it was meant to be, but now, now I'm kind of hatless. Yeah, but we got lucky because we got to see all that that you keep under that hat. <laughs> you damn right you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Always do when you're around. <laughs> From Newport, New York, a two-time Elite Series champion, Jamie the Hammer Hartman. Five fish for Jamie Hartman here today. Five fish, 12 pounds, 13 ounces. Puts him in 31st place currently. So as we wind down the way in a decent start, you know, with a lot of anglers struggle today, and that 13 can go a long way if you back it up again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll take that again tomorrow. It was a tough day for me. Uh, practice was incredible. You know how that goes, you know. <laughs> a lot of guys complaining about practice, and I had a great practice. But today, I just I had some missed opportunities, uh, a couple good fish that would have put me up there pretty good. But hey, uh, I left them there for catch them tomorrow. You know. Go we'll get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Five fish for Matt Airy here today to kick off this season. 16 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 15th place currently. So a great start on day number one at the Avco Bassmaster Elite on the St. John's River.
16 pounds, seven ounces, sitting in 15th place as we wind down our way in. And Matt, that's the way you want to start the season. <laughs> yeah, it is. And Florida is my nemesis. So I'm a, a very happy, happy camper right now. It was a uh, 430, 420 when I filled my limit today. And uh, I mean, it was a trying day. I, I had to really switch it up and uh, slow down a lot. You know, obviously we didn't see any sun and what they supposedly call sunny Florida in three days of practice. But um, I think we're going to see it throughout the tournament. It could get, could get really good, could get, uh, could get a little bit better each day. So still making some adjustments, still, uh, still running around trying to figure out exactly what's going on. But um, looking forward to tomorrow. I, I need another one of those. You know, to, that's, that's what makes your bag here in Florida. Go back it up tomorrow. I know you can. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year. He's an Elite Series champion. Get loud for Drew Benton. Five fish for Drew Benton has done very well here in the past. 11 pounds at five ounces. Moves him into 41st place currently. And man, we've come here so many times, but it is so different every time we come here. Every time we come here, it's a challenge. You know, I, I did something I'd never have done here before. I went to Rodman. And uh, if you live here, you know today was not a Rodman day. High bluebird skies and, and those big ones just wouldn't bite for me today. I, I locked back into the river with five that went about five pounds and fished the last couple hours in the river and just about culled everything out. So it's back to the drawing board. We'll see if we can catch a, a big bag tomorrow and, and get right back up at the top. We'll get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. He's an Elite Series champion, a two-time classic qualifier from Temple, Texas, Frank the Tank Tally. Frank Tally with five fish here today to kick off the 2022 Bassmaster Elite Series here at the APCO Bassmaster Elite. 14 pounds, seven ounces. He moves into 22nd place with 14 pounds and seven ounces for Frank the Tank Tally. 14-7 and sitting in 22nd place. That's a decent way to start the season. Yeah, especially for Florida. I mean, I, I, I check up every time here and can't catch them. So I'm just happy to get a good start. It was tough out there. I mean, always weight looks better than it really was. You know, a couple six bites and uh, it was a struggle. We'll see. I got a shorter day tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get on them. Thank you all for coming out. Great to have you back here, Frank. All the way from Japan, his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Kenta Kamira. Three fish for Kenta. Four pounds, 11 ounces, puts you in 73rd place, but a big comeback tomorrow. Yeah, I have to. I mean, you know, I tried to figure something out, but just the worst day I ever had since practice, so I was doing a compliment completely wrong thing, so I, I probably gonna fish it, you know, just the opposite. <laughs> so just do the opposite tomorrow. They eliminated water today. That's a good approach. Our next angler, a former Forest Wood Cup champion from Alabama, Clint Davis. Five fish for Clint Davis here today. 13 pounds, two ounces, puts him in 30th place, so a decent start to things. It's a decent start to things. We're winding down the way, and then you're sitting in 30th place, so uh, day one went okay. Just got to back it up again tomorrow. Man, yeah, today was a struggle. I, I don't think I really figured out anything late. I just think they started biting late, so I don't know. I don't have until 5 o'clock to fish tomorrow, so we'll have to get them a little earlier. But, hey, yeah, it was a struggle, man. I'll, uh, I'll take that tomorrow and go fishing Saturday. You'll get it done. Great to have you back here. From Tennessee, he's a former Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time classic qualifier, Skylar Hamilton. Four fish for Skylar Hamilton. Five pounds, 10 ounces, puts you in 72nd place and gives you a good target for tomorrow. Yeah, man, it's a tough day, you know, but... I want to say, first of all, happy birthday to my beautiful fiance back home in Tennessee. And uh, mom and dad love you guys. And we just need to catch a few more fish tomorrow. We need to catch five, first of all. But, man, I've, I've struggled here over the years, and I've really just never figured it out. So maybe tomorrow's the day. 
Go get them. Happy birthday. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring up a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year. Get loud for Drew Cook. A owner of many titles. One of those, of course, Rookie of the Year. But a brand new title got added to his name in the offseason. He is now a father. Four pounds even today. And uh, baby needs a new pair of shoes, so you better catch him tomorrow. Yeah, I got to go catch 30 pounds tomorrow. And there's, I mean, you can do it here for sure. I mean, you cobbed weighted a 9.13. Um, I knew it was going to be tough. I didn't think it was going to be that tough. I mean, they they literally just left everywhere up there. So I went somewhere different than I've, I've never fished um, since we've been fishing here the past four years. And I'm going to go back to some familiar water tomorrow. <laughs> go get it done tomorrow. We'll see you back here tomorrow. His first day at the Bassmaster Elite Series. Welcome him right, ladies and gentlemen, from Ohio. Thank the Lord that he's weighing into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Redwine. You, you can confirm that I did say to Lisa this morning, one question I said is, he better weigh into red wine. Nine pounds, 15 ounces. Alex Redwine moves into 48th place. So I figured you'd go one of two directions with this song. You'd either embrace it or totally hate it. I'm assuming you embrace it? Yeah, I embrace it. I mean, it's my last name, and I just got to roll with it, and hopefully it kind of sticks a little bit. But, yeah, today was my first day on the Elite Series, and uh, super excited to be on this stage, super excited to uh, kick the season off with, I'd call it a mediocre limit. Um, but today I ran that trick step boat all up and down the river, and hopefully I can run it down a little bit more tomorrow and uh, find myself a, a big one or two. Great to have you here. Can't wait to watch you all season long. Last year's Bass Nation National Champion from Wisconsin, Pat Schlopper. Pat Schlopper, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Five fish here today. He will not do karate unless it's at the Classic, ladies and gentlemen, so do not ask him. Ten pounds, eight ounces today. I'm not going to ask you to do karate. You're inside the top 50, though, in 48th place right now. Uh, yeah, that won't be for long, but uh, better start than last year. I just, I honestly had a pretty good practice. I thought today would go different, but it's true, I guess, that bass in Florida don't like 36 degrees in the morning. So we'll see. You got to catch them tomorrow. So, but better start than last year. So I'm not, not going to complain. Great to have you here. People wonder what makes me nervous. This next thing here makes me nervous, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Bassmaster Classic Qualifier in Elite Series, a rookie, Masayuki Masashita. Five fish, 12 pounds and an ounce. He moves into 40th place inside our top 50 as we wind down our way and just a few anglers left to weigh in here today Day number one at the Avco Bassmaster Elite at the St. Johns River, Putnam County and Palatka. You guys always roll out the red carpet for us. What a great crowd we've had here for day number one. But a decent start. Decent start for day one. Yeah, my first time Elite Series. Very exciting today. Uh, but the practice change of condition uh, very tough today. Uh, I need a tomorrow more, more, more big size. Go, go get a big ones tomorrow. Yeah, yes. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to try to say your name right again tomorrow. Let's keep a streak going. From Florida, give me a little love for Kobe Krieger. Two fish today for Kobe Krieger. Seven Bassmaster Top Tens, a Bassmaster Classic Qualifier, two pounds, five ounces in 87th place. But nobody cares about day one. Tomorrow you're going to make a giant comeback, which wouldn't have seemed near as cool without a tough day today. So you just, this is the tough part. Exactly. See, tomorrow nobody will be following me. No one really cares where I'm going fishing because obviously with a stellar performance of today, I'll just be free spirit and go and uh, Probably wish for 3 o'clock to really get here so I can go to the next one. But, no, it, uh, 
I've been going south every time we've came here, so I switched it up this time and I went north. Obviously, north was not the right way to go today. You know, they, this place has got a lot of big fishing and I struggle here. The water goes up and down too many times in the day and uh, it confuses me, I guess. But I want to thank everybody for coming out and uh, glad to be here for the 2022 season and glad you finally made it to USA, baby. Well, it's good to be here. Good to be here. <laughs> From Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. He won a Bassmaster Open at the tail end of last season. Three-time Classic Qualifier, Corey Johnston. Four fish here today. Seven pounds, seven ounces. Puts him in 68th place and a tough, tough start for you. Not, not, not characteristic of you, but I, come back tomorrow, right? Yeah, I just, I suck today. There's no excuses, just the way it is. I, I lost some fish, and, uh, you know, I, I struggled to find fish all day until the end of the day. I got on a little group of them, but um, they live here, and tomorrow's a different day. Uh, go out and see what we can do, but got to say hi to uh, to my little guy, Jack, and Luke, and the wife. She's watching, so hi to them, and uh, see if I can't catch some big ones tomorrow. Go get it done. We'll see you back here tomorrow. From Lexington, North Carolina, the 1993 Bassmaster Classic champion, David Fritz. One fish here today, two pounds, six ounces, puts you in 88th place and qualifies you for a triumphant comeback tomorrow. <laughs> Well, I'm due. I promise you that. I actually I had a few bites today, and it was better than I I thought. But I just couldn't catch them. And I don't know. They were biting really funny, and you know when you throw that plastic, that's sort of out of my league anyway. But uh, <laughs> you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But man, I tell you, it, it, I, it, it's good to be here. Uh, it's good to be alive, <laughs> and all that good stuff. So maybe tomorrow I'm I'm sort of looking forward to it. Uh, because I always like to make a comeback. I, I got a really good challenge tomorrow. Go get him. We want to see a big show up on this stage tomorrow. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. A Bassmaster Open winner, a four time, five time classic qualifier from Holt, Michigan, Chad Pipkins. Five fish for Chad Pipkins here today. 19 pounds even. And rockets all the way into the top 10 in ninth place with 19 pounds even. Like 19 even, and just when the crowd started to fall asleep and think, you know, nothing to see here, you roll in here with 19 pounds even, a great start. Yeah, good start. Florida can bite you, and it's, it's just one of those. It was a good day today, and it, uh, it looks really good on paper, but I only caught six fish, and I think I had a five-hour lull without any bites. So hopefully we can go out there tomorrow and uh, not have that big of a lull and see if we can catch a couple more big ones and stay in the game. It's great to have you here. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. His second season here, ladies and gentlemen, from Alabama, Justin Hamner. Left the lucrative world of competitive lawn tractor racing, I believe, to join us here on the Elite Series. Four fish, ladies and gentlemen. Seven pounds even puts them in 72nd place. No worries, just day one, right? Warming up. I, is that what you call that? I call it other things, but on the microphone, I call it warming up. <laughs> you got that right. I don't know what happened. I had such a good practice. Really thought I knew where they were going to be going with this cold front, and I just totally missed something. I don't know. But they're there, so we're going to go catch them tomorrow. Go get it. Done. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day one weigh-in, ladies and gentlemen. They've all gone across the stage in our tournament. Wait. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just, just breaking news. 
John Cruz is the VMC Monster Bag Leader, ladies and gentlemen. John Cruz is the VMC Monster Bag Leader. Not just that, he is the tournament leader. He is also, no, he did not take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass, but he does have the VMC Monster Bag Leader, and that is fun to say. John Cruz with 28 pounds even. Right behind him, Bob Downey with 27 pounds, 4 ounces. Stetson Blaylock, 22 even. In fourth place, Micah Fraser with 20 pounds, four ounces. And in fifth place, Matty or Bill Lowen in fifth place with 20 pounds even. And just outside the top five, Matty Wong, David Mullins, Chris Aldane, Chad Pipkins, and Lee Livesey. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day one way in here at the APCO Bassmaster Elite St. John's River. Palatka, you guys are always awesome, and we thank you. We love coming here to kick off our season. Couldn't think of going to a better place, and we can't wait to get this tournament really ramped up into the weekend. We will see you back here tomorrow morning. First boat leaves at 7.30 in the morning, and we'll see you there.